Hi friends, today uh, we're going to discuss the concept of Bodhisattva and how important it is in uh, the Buddha's teachings. My name is Neha Karekar and I have a YouTube channel by the name of Neha Karekar. If you like this video, uh, do like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. I talk about different uh, philosophies, I talk about psychology, about the Buddha's stories and also about uh, different aspects of company secretaryship. I am a practicing company secretary. So uh, let's understand the concept of what is Bodhisattva and how important it is in Buddhist literature. Now, Bodhisattva, as the word says, is that Bodhika Sattva, that is, it is the essence, there is one seed of the Buddha in it. So, as per the uh, Theravada literature, Bodhisattva is the different life, lives of the Buddha. He had to take lives, uh, countless numbers of births throughout eons of so many birds either as an animal as a king as a normal human person so that he could fulfill the merits required to become a Buddha so if you see the Jatak tales those are all tales wherein the Bodhisattva took different birds and completed one or many merits to achieve Buddhahood or enlightenment in his final uh, birth as Siddharth Gautama. So, I am going to tell you all one story wherein the Bodhisattva was born as a wise hare. Now, it so happened that uh, there was a very beautiful forest and this hare was the leader among all his friends and there were a lot of greenery around, there were a lot of uh, fruit trees around. So it was a very beautiful place even for meditators to come there and do meditation and ask for alms. Now this uh, hare had three friends. One was an otter, one was a jackal and one was a monkey. And the uh, Bodhisattva, by the way, by uh, in, uh, incarnation of uh, of a hare, uh, taught the friend, his friends that it's very important that morality should be practiced. And one of the greatest ways of earning merits is by giving, by giving alms. So. Uh, so many stories used to be narrated by the hare in the form of a friend to all these three people. Once it so happened that it was a very holy day and again the friends were discussing among themselves how important it is to give the alms. So they all went to search for food so that they could uh, distribute it to the ascetics who would come to them for alms. So the uh, monkey went, uh, monkey got some uh, fruits then the, jack, uh, the jackal went, jackal got a lizard and some curdled milk and uh, that, uh, the otter went and otter got some food, so uh, by way of some fruits. So uh, all of them had some, uh, some kind of uh, fruit so that, uh, food so that they could distribute it. It so happened that Sakka, the king of the Devas, decided to test these four people, four uh, animals and uh, disguised himself as a Brahmin, went to each of these friends. So it went to the first, the jackal. The jackal offered the lizard and the curdled milk, went to the monkey. The monkey had some mangoes, so it went to uh, the uh, otter. The otter also gave uh, the fruits collected by it and then Sakka, the king of Devas, came in front of the hare. Now the hare was not able to get any food. So what it did was it asked uh, Sakka, the Brahmin, to burn some grass around and then it told the Brahmin that I don't have anything to offer and I will offer my body. So in the fire, the hare put itself, uh, threw itself 
and it was burning sakka the king of gods was astonished by the amount of uh, piety that this hare had in sacrificing oneself that is the height of giving arms so it immediately um, by his magical powers he was able to control the fire and the hare was uh, removed from the fire as it was and it is said that sakka decided to uh, gift the hare by taking the hare up to the moon and if, uh, even today if one looks at the moon on full moon days there is an apparition of the hare in it it is said that the otter the jackal the monkey and the hare live for many years in the forest and practiced a lot of arms giving so when we hear the story of the buddhist sattva uh, gaining a lot of merits in so many uh, kinds of uh, births we are so motivated that we should use this uh, human life to strive to achieve at least some minuscule percentage of uh, the merits to be earned if you like this video do like it share it and subscribe to my channel may all beings be happy